This segment is sponsored by Greer Image Consulting. Fall has officially started. I think it's so nice that the weather is cooperating. So we'll take that little cool down as a hint of what is to come. And to honor autumn, we thought we'd talk about the best sweaters for your body shape with Raquel Greer Gordian of Greer Image Consulting. Stephanie actually had to break out her sweater collection. Today. I did, I and I was so excited. <laughs> Good morning, Raquel. How you doing? Good. I'm doing great. Good morning, Rosie and Steph. I'm so excited to be here. And like you said, yeah, took a walk this morning. It was cold or cool, um, which was cold amazing. for Texas, right? Cold yes, for Texas. <laughs> that is a thing. All right, let's talk about getting started with apple shapes. You wanted to start with a white sweater. What does an apple shape mean and what should we be looking for? Yeah, so absolutely. So the um, apple body type. So you typically um, will carry a little bit more um, through your chest and through your abdomen. So what we're doing and kind of balances the theme throughout the sweaters that we're talking through today. So um, for apple body type, the first sweater to try is a V-neck. Um, so because you're a little bit wider through the midsection of your body, what we're doing is kind of narrowing and really framing your face through a V-neck. Um, the other option for apple body Body types is going to be a boat neck. So we have this midnight blue boat neck there and you're doing the same exact thing. So while with the V-neck we're balancing inward, with the boat neck we're balancing across. So um, oftentimes apple body types will have a little bit narrower shoulder girdle. So what we're doing is giving you a little bit of structure through there. Ugh, these are all such good tips already because I'd said to Rosie, I hope I picked the right sweater for my body type. I've never really thought about it. So really good stuff so far, but let's talk about square or rectangle shapes, what those are and what sweaters go best, um, starting with the navy sweater. Yes. So for the navy sweater, so we kind of have a funnel neck on top. So as a rectangular body type, typically um, your shoulders, your hips are a little bit more narrow. So we're really following the line of your body to, through these two sweaters. The first being that funnel neck. So you might have a little bit longer silhouette, a little bit longer neckline. So you can handle a fuller neckline. So a funnel neck, a turtleneck, a mock turtleneck. This is a great shape for you. And the other one for the rectangular body type, we have a mustard crew neck. So really where I'm focusing on this is that it's a fitted sweater. So mm -hmm. rather than have a lot of bulk, we're really following the line of a rectangular body type by having something that's really fitted throughout. Awesome. Um, shout out to my fellow pairs. Let's start with the black sweater for the pear shapes. Yeah, so four pairs, so you're going to have a little bit narrower shoulder girdle, and then your widest point is going to be your hips. So we're really balancing through your hips um, with this off-the-shoulder neckline. So kind of like the boat neck, um, we're basically creating a lot of structure right here, again, to balance the hips. Um, and then the other one is going to be a turtleneck. So you can do a little bit fuller neck. Again, you might have a little bit narrower shoulder here, so you can handle a little bit more volume on top. So you can see with this camel uh, turtleneck, it's a little bit thicker on top and feel free to do a thicker weave, thicker, thicker turtleneck, and you can definitely handle it. Mm, and how about triangles, Raquel? Um, let's start with the green sweater here. Yeah. So um, for turtlenecks, uh, so for um, inverted triangles, excuse me, um, you're going to be a little bit wider across your shoulder girdle. So we want something a little bit softer on top. So a sweatshirt um, is a perfect option for you. So a crew neck where you're kind of bringing in the visual a little bit tighter, you're a little bit softer on the shoulder, and then um, you're also going to be able to do a deep V neckline. So as opposed mm. to the apple where you want, might want a little bit higher v-neck having a larger test with an inverted triangle you can really have a deeper v-neck and again bring in that line um, and really highlight your silhouette and balance as well excellent and real quick before we go uh why aren't we seeing an hourglass here what's going on with that one we <laughs> Yeah, so for hourglass, um, you're basically balanced through the shoulders and hips. Um, so you really can do all of these shapes and you'll really be relying more on your face shape and kind of neck length. So if you have a little bit longer neck, feel free to kind of fill that in with a mock turtleneck, a turtleneck, um, like the rectangle, a funnel neck. Um, if you have a little bit shorter neck, you can do a V-neck to really open you up. So you're really going to focus on face shape, neck length to get the right sweater. A little Ooh, something it. for everyone. Yeah, Raquel, excellent expertise as always. We appreciate it.
And we'll see you on the other side of sweater season here in a couple of weeks. <laughs> to learn more about Raquel's services, visit her online at greerimageconsulting.com and follow her on social media for inspiration. This, this segment, segment is, is sponsored, sponsored by Greer Image Consulting.